if you could get this to 10,000 likes, I'll uh, oil up and do whatever you ask me to do on live. Are we recording? All right, cool. What up, guys? So basically, uh, the last video of me driving in the rain did pretty good. And uh, I figured, I don't know, maybe people like that. So uh, I'm just gonna give you a couple, like a rundown on what's going on with the car. Uh, basically, uh, as for the good, I got this new mid pipe on, sounds really good. And uh, I have coilovers, which also drive really nice. They're BC Racing, right here. Sounds really good, but I have BC Racing coilovers on now, and they sound, well, and they sound, my dumbass, and uh, they ride really nice. Uh, I'm really, dude, what the hell? All right, there we go. So yeah, basically, they ride really nice. Uh, I'd say when they were breaking in, they were similar to, uh, like, the sport suspension, uh, sport mode in, uh, and with the stock shit basically um, but now that they're broken in they just ride really nice like it's different the whole time is driven differently than stock suspension uh, but yeah at first it was kind of stiff broken in it's just nice now I don't know it feels more like a car uh, blah 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 I'm gonna do a video on that in general but as for some of the issues I'm having, that's kind of what I wanted to touch on. Uh, suspension wise, we're good. Uh, I have some type of like grinding coming from what I believe to be my drive shaft. Uh, BMW should take care of that. The car is still under warranty, so that's nice. But as for the shit that I'm doing, the mid pipe really doesn't fit. Uh, I can't put one of the braces back on yet because it hangs too low and I rather have structural integrity than a car that sounds good, frankly. Uh, so what I think I'm going to do is get an active auto work mid pipe or have one made. Uh, pricing is really similar and I figured fuck it, I mean I could get something done close to where I live or I could get that. Uh, I'm on the fence about either one. I don't really know. Uh, I had an exhaust leak from my mid pipe because we decided to cut it so we could try to re-weld it. And we, like, my boy that was doing it was using the wrong gas and he hasn't had time since to re-weld it. So it has a band clamp around the, the cut right now. Uh, it's, it actually made a huge difference. It sounds pretty much back to normal now, but at first it sounded absolutely horrible to the point where I, I didn't even want to drive the car because I was it was just embarrassing. If you know these motors, I don't know, certain, I feel like other than a B58, like an S55, an S58, they don't sound that great. Like they're not that great of motors when it comes to sound. Um, B58 sounds sick, but it went from sounding good uh, for what it is to sounding absolutely fucking horrible. So that sucked. But uh, I have a lot of things coming for this car, which I'm excited about. I've recently got some of my carbon fiber back from being paint matched. Uh, maybe I'll include a, a clip here of that front lip because it just looks insane. The, my friend that did it killed it and I'm super excited to lower my car a little bit more and then put that stuff on. Uh, let's see, my ears are popping right now. It's also a really like, it's really empty for this time. I'm, it's three o'clock where I'm at right now and the roads are like, not as congested as, as I thought it would be. I work outside, so my job was, uh, you know, things were canceled today, so I came home early. And I decided, you know what, let me go to the gym, let me do this, film a video. I enjoy doing these videos. 
The setup that I have right now is outrageous though. I usually have um, something to wear on my head, but I forgot that at home, so it's like clipped to my hat and it looks crazy. I don't know if you can see that. You probably don't even want to. Um, but yeah, I know I'm yapping. I'll shut up for a while. Uh, I appreciate everybody supporting this. Like, I know it's not like a crazy amount of people, but the people that are watching, thank you. Uh, I gotta figure out how to like talk better. I'm kind of a fast talker and all over the place for the most part. But um, I, I really appreciate you guys. Uh, the first one I did of this is at like 800 something views and that's, that's cool. Uh, as you guys can hear, the car is louder than that video. Uh, sounds a little better. Uh, I made a video on the mid pipe also, but I, it just sucks that it doesn't really fit the way it should. Uh, so lesson learned, just don't fucking cheap out because you, you could cheap out, but at least buy from a company that has credibility and accountability so that they will do the right thing if there's something wrong. Uh, even if you're buying Alibaba parts from a company, at least there's a middleman whose name is on the line for them to do the right thing. Uh, for me, this mid pipe doesn't fit and this company that I bought it from, the manufacturer, isn't doing anything about it, which, you know, it was like 400 bucks. That's kind of just 400 bucks down the drain. It is what it is, but it's a lesson learned. Uh, I bought intakes, front mount intakes. I couldn't get them to fit uh, because I'm not good with my hands. Pause. But, you know, I decided, you know what? I'm just going to sell them. So I lost money on that too. It doesn't really matter because they went to good use. Uh, the guy that bought them was, was cool. And frankly, not everything is about money. So it is what it is. But, you know, yeah, I couldn't get them to fit. I hear the RK Tunes ones are way easier to fit on and although it seems like it's all the same shit well you know if I had an issue with it I could have went back to RK tunes so keep that in mind you know that's actually solid advice is to you know spend the money and it'll come through on resale also I also don't like driving too crazy because you know I like, listen, I like driving crazy, but there's, you know, you can't fucking do that in certain places, bro. Like, this is damn near residential. You gotta be safe, bro. Don't be a fucking idiot. There's so many people, especially BMW owners, bro. Like, see, like, I'm slowing down way before I really need to slow down because I'd rather be safe. Uh, like I was saying, BMW owners are just fucking menaces on the road and need to learn their place in, um, in, in general, bro. Like, it, it sucks to see, but, I mean, it's a lot of younger kids, and they get these fucking cars. I would say, like, uh, F80s and F82s, they should come with a fucking driving lesson because of how, like, I've driven plenty of them. They're just somewhat unpredictable it's like skating on ice driving them and that's why a lot of kids just fucking total them and, and not even just kids adults too it's just a bunch of people that don't realize what they're getting into they'll have the car for a month or two and fucking wreck the thing and it's sad but you know see so yeah, i guess it's similar to fucking mustang owners bro look at that thing's beautiful but um yeah, dude. I don't know. I really wish these people weren't here right now. I was always curious what's up there. I don't think I'm going to go up there because that's creepy. But uh, maybe off camera I'll go up there someday. This thing does sound beautiful, though, with this mid pipe. That's with the uh, the sound on. Let's take that shit off. This is so. This is no pumped in audio. I think that's all this button does. Or maybe it does do something with the actual exhaust. I don't know. Really 
wish these people weren't here right now. But still, like I said, like, there's houses around here. You don't want to hit someone coming out their fucking driveway. That'd be horrible. I don't know if you heard that little metal clunk, but my brace that I couldn't get back on is in my back seat. Well, not my back seat, but my trunk, rather. And, uh, yeah, bro. Uh, in the end, it, it depends what you're into, but I'm more into driving. Like, I want something to function the way it needs to function. If it could look good and sound good doing it, beautiful. That's optimal. But, I much rather have something that functions without those things than have those things and it not function. You know what I mean? Forgive my excessive yapping. I just need to find out the balance of what people want to listen to and don't want to listen to. You know what I mean? But luckily videos like this are easy enough to make that it's like, I'll just keep posting until I find the formula that hopefully a bunch of people enjoy. I love making these videos. It's, it's nice to finally have a, have a car that I enjoy. I know um, I post a lot of diesel truck content and my first, like I would have loved to get another one. My first vehicle was a six liter, but um, when you peel back the layers, I'm just a fucking, I like driving. Like, I like driving fast, I like driving around tracks and shit like that. I love drag racing, but like, and drifting, but my main thing is just fucking clipping apexes and shit. Look at this guy. This, like, being a driver would be sick, but at the same time, being a driver would be horrible, bro. Like, in the rain, you have to finish your route every day. I don't know. If, if anybody's a fucking UPS driver, Please share your experience with how you like it because at my old job, one of the drivers, like he would just have bad days and I feel like it was just caused because of the work itself. And that's, you know, that's unfortunate. You don't want to hate your job. Not completely at least. It's okay to hate your job a little bit, but you know, when that shit gets too miserable, you spend way too much of your life at your job to hate it then you just end up hating your life, you know? What is it? Eight times three is 24, I think. So that's a third of your life at work if you're there eight hours. Eight hours of sleep, preferably. And then what? You're, the rest of it, you're just going to figure out. And the rest of it, you're going to be too tired to fucking do anything else because you're drained mentally from your job. So what the fuck is that? That's not life. I think eight times four is 24, or eight times three, rather. I don't know. It sucks, because this is, that thing is nice. It sucks, because this road is so fucking nice, and I, I have these jerk-offs in front of me. Like, I get it. It's raining. But, like, I don't know. I guess not everybody's a D1 driver like myself. totally kidding about that, but, you know, here's what it is. These burbles, fun for now, but I'm not a fan. I'm taking that shit off. I guess I'm just into things with cool things with wheels. I'm not a big bike guy, so four wheels preferably, but I don't know. I've always been that way. I'll shut up for a little bit now. This should be a nice little route.
other thing too is that you just need to know where you can drive like an a-hole there's a time and place I don't know. There's kind of a time and place. Not really. There's no real excuse for it. But, you know, you need to at least know where to do it, bro. Some of these kids are racing on residential fucking areas. And it's like, what are you doing? I don't know. It's kind of hard to even imagine what would go through your brain to rip around in a place like this, practically. At night or some shit. Or during the day when there's like kids out and about. I mean, if you're a kid, you shouldn't be fucking playing here. But see, even that sign says, share the roads. It's true. Have some fucking common courtesy for people that live in these areas. In any area, it doesn't matter. As I drive around like a dickhead, but still, like, I understand. A lot of these kids just don't even fucking get it. There's no accountability. There's no thought. I really want to go fast here. It's such a fun road, but, like... Within reason. That's why I need to take this thing to a track that allows SUVs. I have to do that, honestly. But I'm also just a dumb, broke kid, and paying for brakes after a track day would be like, you know, that'd be a large hit for a boy like me. better with this single mid pipe. As the channel progresses and stuff, because whether these videos do good or not, I'm not going to stop making them. Like, I enjoy doing it, so... Eventually, it'll grow to the point where maybe I could invest back into the channel more than I have. Not that I have, but, you know, I have all this camera gear for my own shit, so I use it for my channel also. This GoPro was actually a gift from my dad for Christmas. Great gift. completely stock other than this mid pipe and well power wise I guess that would be the only thing that kind of helps this thing boogies bro like this is a, an impressive platform I would have loved to get a G80 but honestly I don't know I'll probably explain this in a further video but the quick rundown is I didn't even know there was an S58 in these cars my co-worker had one well has an X3M and I was in the process of looking for vehicles. So another coworker, I was, actually, yeah, this is kind of crazy. One day I saw my coworkers on like a, a, a drag pack, if you want to just call it that, the, the tires you would use to race at the track. And I was, to my other coworker, I said, he doesn't really need that. Like, why does he have that? And he's like, do you know what motor's in this? Granted, I know if it has a V58 and it has work done to it, it could use it a, like a tire, you know? But um, I said, uh, what is it, a V58? And he goes, no, it, it, it's an S50, it's an S58. And from then on, I was like, okay, I'm looking for these cars. Because I knew the depreciation on these is way more reasonable than a depreciation on a G80. A G80 X Drive, you're not going to get that for anywhere near the price that I got this for. So. And I knew the powertrain was great, so that was when I decided, okay, I'm gonna put X3Ms in my line of sight when it comes to me buying something. And then a couple weeks after that, I found this in Ohio. And uh, yeah, 
great fucking purchase. I'm not gonna lie. I love this car. I hate the payments. I hate spending this much money on gas. I hate the maintenance shit, but I absolutely love driving this thing. 10 out of 10 car, frankly. If I could fucking bolt in G80 carbon buckets and it sit the way this thing does, because I, I think if they would sit too low, probably. If I could just do that, 11 out of 10 car, bro. Uh, this thing is, uh, well, actually, that would make it a 10 out of 10. I must say 9 out of 10 because of all the costly shit. Let's see, where's this homie going? Once again, I don't like driving fast through anywhere where there's houses. Okay, that guy's going that way. That guy's also going that way. We're going this way. Like, I know over here there's driveways, so I'm going to have to slow down despite me not wanting to slow down. It's just common courtesy. Sometimes you have to you know, give a little to get a lot. Cause uh, it would suck hitting somebody and being at fault. <laughs> I've had this cough that won't go away either, which sucks, not gonna lie. But tis the season, so it's to be expected. And around here, I would love to hit this, but driveways, have some respect. I guess that really is it. Like, if you're gonna drive like an asshole, know how to fucking drive like an asshole. Know how to drive. Driving fast isn't easy to do in a safe and proper way. Like, everybody does it, but they don't know how to. These roads that I live near, I live relatively close to here. Uh, these roads would be absolutely fantastic if I could speed through them properly, but you can't. You can, but you shouldn't. Morally. Let's try to get some action underneath here. See if you good. Like a wind guard thing, or a rain guard, whatever, for, uh, well, no, not a rain guard, a literal wind guard for my GoPro. And your boy forgot to bring it. It's also raining, so I don't want to keep my windows open too much. But, I'd at least like for you guys to hear a little something, something with the windows open. So let me do that now. Oh, yeah. to my gay people, bro. Real shit. Ooh, here's a, another little tunnel. Not a tunnel, but... Oh, come on!
yeah, yo, even if this video gets to like 100 views, which like is a lot for me at least. So if, if it does, I'd be really happy with that. If you could get this to 10,000 likes, I'll uh, oil up and do whatever you ask me to do on live. Uh, never mind. My bad. That's on me. My fault, gang. Yeah, dude, I don't know. I, I went to uh, Bimmers United, Bimmers vs. Domestics, I forget, whatever show they had at Maple Grove, and I made a video. Well, I didn't make a video, but I have video clips, and I was planning on making a video, but I'm just fucking awkward, bro. When I'm alone, like, I could yap a little too much. <clears throat> everything's cool. Ugh. Everything's cool. But when I'm, like, out and about, I don't want people seeing me talking shit, but like, I really gotta learn to just do it, you know? It's not that big of a deal. Nobody really gives that much of a fuck. That's why, like, I've been seeing a lot of point of view videos, and people start out, like, the classic thing is for people to start out walking into a gas station. Fuck am I gonna do that for? I, I, I mean, obviously, what, what do I mean? What the fuck am I gonna do that for? But, you know, I'm gonna wear, not this goofy ass setup, but I'm gonna wear the head wrap thing with a GoPro and just walk into a store. Like, y'all got balls for doing that, bro. Respect. I'm not saying it's fucking dumb. I'm saying I wish I could do it. Like, I don't know. I've always been a shy person. If, I don't know, if you know me, you might disagree, but it's because I'm an a-hole if you get to know me. Just really wanted to make this video because it's raining and it's kind of peaceful and relaxing to do these videos. Plus, it's the daytime at night. I, I made that video at night. You can barely see dick. I got uh, 20 in the front, 20 on the sides, and then 20 covering the stock tints in the back. So, it's not dark. From the outside, it looks fucking dark, honestly. But it's not overly dark, but at night, it's hard to see out. I recently watched, uh, cause I, I've been seeing, I've been watching point of view videos to get ideas, not to, well, not to completely steal ideas, but just to get what people do to like get so many views on these videos. And, um, uh, I saw a guy, he had a Z06, nice car, but he kept the light on cause I guess he has a, a windshield tint too. So it just gets dark. So I'm driving at night with this on, I might be able to do that. I gotta see. What I need to get is rain guards, and then, um, frankly, I don't even know why I brought that up, bro. But I do want to get rain guards and possibly paint match them. Uh, you'll understand once this uh, this build is done. I'm doing a lot of paint match stuff. Anything important? Nope. I don't have anybody who, well, yeah, no, anybody really hit my line whatsoever, and that's fine by me, but, you know, if I had a girl or two that were interested in me, that'd be, uh, that'd be nice. But I don't, because I'm selfish and self-absorbed and only fucking care about my vehicle, so I think they, they feel that and reciprocate that energy by just not talking to them, so, you know. Ball out, twin. Need to adjust this hat a little bit. Huh? Want to be able to see while I'm driving. See, like, what if I was going fast and this guy was pulling out? I would go straight through him. Pause. That'd be terrible.
thing about these videos, if I wasn't fucking talking so much, is that if you just keep it in the background of like doing homework or fucking trying to go to sleep or something, that's the goal. To have videos like that where you just like relax to. Oh wait, listen to that. Hold up. This thing's still recording. It is. But like I'm almost out of battery. I'll probably wrap the video up soon, but and I have another battery, but you know, this video has been going on for a good amount of time, I guess. Probably go to the gym after this. I'm gonna start, like, when I have time, I'm, and, like, this would have been a horrible day, but I don't live far from New York City, so I'll make a video going into the city, driving around, harassing people, maybe, like, in a month when I'm tuned, and I, like, it, if I find something on the highway, I can give it a run for its money type shit, going with some friends or something that won't judge me for wearing this goofy-ass thing. I'm just gonna let this run until my fucking thing dies, cause it's so close. Like, it'll it'll die soon. I don't know. Oh, Got another underpass. Like I know the car doesn't sound that loud at all from the inside, even to me, like in person, it doesn't sound that loud from the inside, but when you hear it like that, you kind of learn to appreciate like, oh, mid-pipe changes, changes a lot, like that ricochet off the fucking ceiling and sides, it's loud, you realize it's like popping, which is cool, but you know keep looking over to see if my shit's still blinking red. That's how you know it's recording. for this whole thing is to not stop driving like dickheads BMW drivers stop driving like dickheads bro stop cutting up in traffic for no reason you know you see videos and it's like damn that's kind of impressive that they're doing that or like that they can do that but then you really take a step back and look at it it's like yo what the fuck are these people doing why are you putting all these lives at risk some fucking football player just was like hit like a bunch of cars and shit caused the major act caused a ma ooh, caused a major accident on the highway just because he was driving like a dickhead with his friends it's like bro fuck that i did that shit once well i've done that uh, like a good amount of times but one time i did that shit the most recent time i did it and when i was done i was like holy fuck like that was horrible for me to do because it was intense bro you look down at the fucking thing you're going 120 and you're just like i'm going 120 now but i was going way faster before and i'm cutting in and out of traffic like after that i vowed not to do that shit ever again so good life lesson it i didn't nobody got hurt everything was fine but through oh look at that through um an M5 and then a fucking G82. But through driving like a dickhead and feeling guilty after, I didn't have to fuck up to learn the lesson to not do that shit. That's how you people need to learn lessons in life. Don't fuck up first. If you fuck up, 
okay, as long as you learn from it. But try not to fuck up first to get to the point where you learn to not do something or to do something differently. Uh, fuck. Yeah, that's where I'm gonna end it, bro. Do better, you know, ball out. Fucking learn. Oh, you! I'm making a video right now. Oh, bro, I'm video. Yeah, hell yeah. All right, we're in. This is a good way to end it. Good kid, yo. Yeah, that's where I'm gonna. That's where I'm gonna end things. Uh, I'm never doing this setup again because my shit keeps hitting the roof. But ball out, sis. You guys have a good day. God bless. And uh, stay gay. I don't know. Fuck. <laughs>